Uh, so I'm talking about how to integrate um, Microsoft Teams uh, into your class. Um, so for this one, uh, this is a sample version of my class's homepage. Um, as Teresa mentioned, I do teach ESL as an adjunct here. Um, so here's my homepage and um, not my real homepage. This is my sandbox, but um, looks the same. So to do MS Teams, um, I could send it out as an announcement, um, which would be fine. Uh, or um, I what I'm going to actually do is um, put it into a module. And the reason I'm thinking of doing that is to have the videos for them for each class uh, listed on a separate page, just kind of like Kathy did for hers, um, but have the class link and then the videos for them to review um, if they weren't able to get to class or whatever. So, um, the way we do that is to create a new page and to create a page, you click the plus button right there. And then you go down and you decide you want to do a new page and then click new page again. And then you're going to just title the page and this one is going to be class three. What what date have I not used in these sessions yet? Uh, I think 27th. Still OK. Uh, so I'll title my page 327. All right, cool. Um, so this page, I need to edit it. So I'm going to left click on it. Um, so to create the Microsoft Teams uh, link, uh, when you're editing the page, you're going to see this blue V button and you're going to left click on it and scroll down to the bottom. The second to last one, at least for me, the second to last one is says Microsoft Teams meetings and just left click on it and it will bring up a pop up window. And so this one, you're going to have to push uh, sign in. Sometimes it has you automatically signed in. Um, sometimes it doesn't. So just sign in if you have to. Um, if you do have to use your username, um, it should be your Bruin mail username. So for example, mine is uh, MWILS213. And then at slcc.edu. So it's basically your, your Microsoft um, application login, but it's just a little confusing. People forget it. So um, once you're finished with that, and Christy just posted it in chat, um, once you're finished with that, uh, you can say create meeting link. And then you're just going to title the meeting again. I'll do three, class 327. And so once you've given it a title, um, you're going to go choose the start time. And let's say I'm going to start it at my class usually starts at seven. We'll go down to seven and the end time is two hours later. And so there you go. Uh, so now I have the class title and uh, I have the start time and the end time. And then you just click on create. And wait a second. And so there you go. Um, there's the link. Uh, you could go ahead and write down um, below. You could write the agenda for the class, what you want them to do before the class, give them other instructions. Um, but I'm going to leave that up to you. And for now, I'm just going to go down and say save and publish. And do please remember to publish it, otherwise students won't be able to see it. Um, but then your students or you can come in here uh, to modules and then to this page and just click on the link. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the link. And they're going to come to this page where they can download the Teams app if they want. They can join right on the web if they don't want to do that. Um, if they already have the app. And they're just going to go up here and say open Microsoft Teams, which I'm going to do. And it will load. And then you can see me again. Hi. Um, one of the things I really do like uh, about this program 
Um, you can do basic things like um, so you can choose to uh, turn on or off your camera, turn on or off your microphone. Um, I'm going to leave them both on. Okay, I'm going to turn off my microphone. Um, and we're going to hit join. And Kathy has already joined me. Very good. Thank you. Um, so Kathy's just going to act as my student really quickly. Um, but just when you're inside, you can turn on or off your camera, turn on and off your microphone. Uh, you can share stuff. And when you do share stuff in here, uh, you click on share. And move you all out of the way. Um, share. And then Teresa, if you or anyone else. Um, if you really want to share the audio from your computer, um, clicking on this button, include system audio, um, will allow the sound from your computer to come through the speakers. Um, so click on include system audio, and then any of these programs that you want. So you can choose screen uh, so that they can see everything you can see on your computer. Or you could choose one of these other programs. So, for example, um, I'm going to choose uh, Google Chrome. And in Google Chrome, I could show them a video from YouTube. And I'm just going to warn you, I'm going to play it. Um, Kathy should be able to hear it, but you all probably won't because we're kind of sharing audio through a sharing. Anyway, there's several layers of sharing here. Um, so it might be, it's probably impossible for you to hear, but Kathy hopefully can hear this. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm gonna stop. Sorry, I'm running. Let's do this. There we go. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to share within a share. So anyway, um, once you're back here, uh, you could you could have pushed the stop sharing button up there. I couldn't get to it because WebEx was blocking me. Um, but you can also come back here and hit stop sharing. Um, some other features that I really like in here. Um, you do have a. Uh, you do have a blur your background feature if you can see back here in this little uh, window. Um, the calendar back here is now blurred. So if there's anything in the background that you don't want people to see, um, it kind of automatically blurs that, which is pretty cool. Uh, Kathy just did it on hers. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so that is, that is a pretty nice feature if you want to use it. Uh, one other thing you can do in here is you can start recording and we're going to just test a few seconds. It won't be very long. And while we're doing that, I'm going to show you uh, the chat feature. And so the chat feature is pretty easy. I'm typing, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then your students can respond. It's a pretty basic chat. Um, it's helpful, but it's not uh, that significant, but whatever. Um, you can also go to participants, which shows your students in class. So Kathy is my student right now, and I can go and mute her if she's saying bad things. Uh, I can remove her if she's being really bad. Um, I can make her an attendee um, if I want to change. And so now she doesn't have, uh, before she was an attendee, she was able to share things and whatever. She had kind of general permission to do, it, do anything she wants. Um, but now that she's an attendee, she kind of has to ask my permission to do things. Um, so that's a helpful feature. Um, once you're finished with your lecture in here, uh, you can hit stop record. Um, and then you can hit hang up. And it will hang up. And you'll come back to the screen and it says that the recording has stopped and the recording is being saved to Microsoft stream. So to find that recording. Uh, you go to these ellipses and go to stream. 
and it will bounce you around a little bit. Go to Microsoft Stream again. And then you'll hit videos. And it's so it still says processing the video. Um, that's not really a problem. If you go right here, more actions, and you hit share. And then you can go to this screen, hit embed, and you can copy the embed code. And then uh, if you wanna share this lecture with your students, go back to your Canvas page, hit edit. Uh, you will have to go into the HTML editor and put it right there. Hit save, and now your lecture or class, whole class, is embedded um, in Canvas for them to watch at a later time if you want. Um, so there you go.